Welcome to our snow melting under asphalt video. Now, as you can see, a few of the leaves are falling here. It's, uh, as they say on TV, winter is coming, so we need to get this thing ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to be installing tire tracks in this area in front of me and the area behind me. Right here, we have our electrical connection spot. We're going to be putting a junction box in there, and then it's going to make it easier for the homeowner to make an exit out of this, make a little roundabout area here that's going to be prepared with snow melting under an asphalt surface. Remember, whenever you're planning some of this excavation, you always have to call and make sure that you locate your electrical, your gas, your sewage, that sort of stuff. You can see here that the gas and the electricity have both been marked, so we know to avoid these areas. All right, what we've done now is we've excavated the dirt and we've taken a steamroller and rolled it down. What's next is about six inches of compacted gravel. They're going to dump it in here, then spread it out. Then they're going to compact it down because after that six inch layer, we're then going to put a two inch binder coat, put the heating cables over that binder coat, and then put a two inch top coat on top of that. Now we have the second layer of gravel in. The gravel has been compacted, and now we're just beautifying the edges at this point, getting the excess dirt out of the way so when the paver comes in, the machine doesn't get held up by anything along the edges. What's also going to happen at this point is instead of this rough edge around this perimeter here, they're going to take a saw and saw cut a nice straight edge into this. Okay, we have the binder coat down, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take the rolls and roll them out. What, what's going to happen here is we are going to stake them in place, and that's going to keep them tight. Then the guys are going to shovel asphalt over the top of these. You never ever run a machine, a paving machine, over the top of the cables. So we're going to lay them out, and as they're pouring the concrete on top with shovels, I'm going to be pulling them to keep them tight until we get down to the spot where our next group of wires are going to be. Right now, what we've done is we've measured out the distance because this is tire track coverage. So you need to make sure that they are the correct width and that's what we've already measured and got them set out for. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, here we can see where all the electric is going to the uh, asphalt. So you can see we have four mats right now. We have four pieces of conduit going in for each mat. And we also have a conduit going in here for the low voltage temperature sensor. Okay, the job has been paved over and the guys have left and what's left behind is this junction box. 
So this spot right here is where the mats are being attached to the power supply coming from the house. Now this box a lot of times can be hidden. It can be put in the ground. If you have a, um, an in-ground box, you can use those. Uh, some people like to put them in a decorative wall, um, but the one thing is you have to be able to get at them. If something ever goes wrong, you need to be able to get inside the junction box to disconnect, reconnect, to do your testing. So the box can never be completely sealed off. You always have to have good access to it. So now we're inside the house, and this is where the electrical part comes in. We've installed the new uh, controller up here on the wall, and we've got it connected to the wires running out to the driveway. Now what we're doing is we're working on the supply power that's going to supply the voltage to those wires. We've also had to supply a supply circuit, which is the power that the unit up here operates on. So what you're doing is you're sending power to this box to make it control, to keep it lit up, to keep it working all the time. And then we're sending power from the circuit breakers over here to be switched by the relays in this controller on out to the heating coils and make them melt the snow. All right, here we are. We have a completed driveway and there's no way that you can tell that there is any electric heating underneath this surface except for one thing and that's the junction box right here. So if you'd like to learn anything else about heating your driveway with electric heating products, just check us out at www.warmlyors.com. Thanks for watching.